Hello students, I am Professor Chaitanya Patil and today I am going to teach you Optimal Binary Search Tree OBST. After this video, you will be able to understand the types of search tree, the need of OBST and OBST as a minimum cost BST. Before that, we will revise binary search tree BST. BSTs are widely used for retrieving data from databases, lookup tables and storage dictionary. It is the most efficient search technique having time complexity that is logarithmic to the size of set. There are two cases with, with BST, static BST and dynamic BST. If the number of keys and their probabilities are known in advance, then static BST can be used. And if the information of the keys is not known in advance, then dynamic BST can be used. So the types of BSTs, first static BST, it is, no, uh, it is one that is not allowed to update its structure once the tree is constructed. In other words, the static BST is an offline algorithm. The example of static BST is OBST, which we are going to see in this video. The other type of BST is dynamic BST. It is the BST which changes during the access sequence. We assume that dynamic BST is an online algorithm which does not have prior information about the sequence. The example of dynamic BST is AVL tree. Now, why BST? To store the order data, the alternative way is array. Um, to, we can store order data by using array and the most efficient searching technique for array is binary search if the data is sorted. But the disadvantage of the array is for the insertion and a deletion of a record, a shifting is required. So another solution is to use linked list to store the ordered data. Insertion and deletion is easy in linked list, but it is inefficient for a searching. So the only data structure left is to use BST which is efficient for searching a record as well as efficient for insertion and deletion of a record in a tree. But a BST has few problems which are to be overcome. Consider this simple example of BST. What is the in order traversal of this BST? Yes, the in order traversal of the BST is 10, 20, 22, 25, 27, 30, 35. The in order traversal of BST is a sorted ascending order. Now consider the same set of keys but the sequence of arrival of keys is different. Consider the two cases case A and case B. The same keys, only difference is in arrival sequence of a keys.
and now construct the BST for these two cases. Here is the answer. We got two different search trees for the same set of keys. Case A, these are the arrival sequence of keys and this is the BST. Case B, the arrival sequence of keys and this is the constructed BST for case B. Note that the set of keys are same but the arrival sequence of the keys are different. Now, if we try to search a key 35 in these two BSTs, the number of comparisons required to search a key 35 in BST A are 4, while the number of comparisons required to search key 35 in BST B are 5. If we find out the cost of a tree A, it is 19 and the cost of a tree B is 21. How to find out the cost? Number of comparisons required to search each key. For example, cost A is number of comparisons required to search 20 is 1 plus number of comparisons required to search 10 is 2 plus number of comparisons required to search 25 is 2. Likewise, total number of um, keys and number of comparisons required to find out these keys give you the cost of a tree. So, the cost of a tree A is 19 and the cost of a tree B is 21. 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5. That will give you the cost of a tree B. So, we can say the first BST has better average behavior than the second BST. So, the optimality, optimality criteria for a static BST can be stated as minimizing the cost of a BST under a given access sequence. Such cost can be defined as follows. Cost of a tree BST is equal to summation of a i from 1 to n L of a i. Here, the total number of nodes are n and L of a is the length of i key a. We have considered the probabilities for all the keys are equal, but this is not the case always. The keys are searched with different probability in reality. So, we have to modify the formula. The cost of a tree is computed with respect to its nodes probability of a search and path length. Hence, the cost of a BST cos t is equal to summation of w of i into li where i lies from 1 to n where w of i is the frequency or the probability 
it is also called as a weight of a node weight of a ith node and li is level of particular node calculated from a root node we'll see one simple example assume there are four keys pqrs that are to be searched with probabilities 0.1 0.2, 0.4, and 0.3 respectively. How many BSTs can be constructed from these four keys? We can construct 14 different BSTs for this example. Few of the BSTs are run here but the question is which BST among all these 14 BSTs is optimal how to find out the optimal BST optimal BST that is the BST which have a minimum cost minimum average cost to find out any key in a tree one way to do this is to construct all the possible BSTs and compute the cost by using the formula for example the first tree is Consider this is the first tree and the cost of this tree is probability of P is 0.1 multiplied by the number of comparisons required R2 plus probability of Q is 0.2 into number of comparisons required to search a Q in a BST 1 plus probability of node r 0.4 into number of comparisons required to search r2 plus probability of s 0.3 into number of comparisons required so 2.1 is the cost of this first bst but there are 14 such BSTs. So, whether to find out the cost of each BST by using this formula and again here we have considered the successful search but as it is a BST there can be unsuccessful search if there are n number of keys n number of keys in a BST then there will be n plus 1 unsuccessful search keys this can be represented by using this extended binary tree all of you know in extended binary tree the successful search ends in a internal node while unsuccessful search ends in a extended node all the internal nodes are drawn by this oval shape and external nodes or extended nodes are represented by using this E. So, if there are n number of successful search keys, then there will be n plus 1 unsuccessful search keys for that tree. Again, we have seen 
the probability of successful search is pi likewise we have to consider the probability of unsuccessful search keys also and that is denoted by qi so to find out the cost of a bsd we have to consider successful search keys as well as unsuccessful search keys so we have to modify the formula the cost of a bsd can be given as summation of p of i into level of ki where i lies from 1 to n plus summation of qi into level of ei minus 1 where i lies from 1 to n this first part first part is for to find out the probability of successful search and this second part is to find out the probability of unsuccessful search as we have seen if there are n number of keys in a psd then there will be n plus 1 unsuccessful search keys present in the in that same bsd so see the range of i okay an unsuccessful search reaches at the node ei at level l it means that l minus 1 comparisons are already performed hence the cost of such node is qi into level of ei minus 1 Above equation defines the cost of a BSD in terms of probabilities of successful and unsuccessful searches and the level of node. So let us define the OBSD. An OBSD is a BSD with the minimum cost. This we have to remember that OBSD is a BSD with the minimum cost cost and how to find out the cost of a BST by using this formula okay we'll see one more example okay consider there are three keys in a tree while do if and the probability for a successful search pi and the probability for the unsuccessful search qi is 1 by 7 for all i compute the cost of all possible bsd and find the obst as there are three keys it means three keys for a successful search and 3 plus 1 4 keys for unsuccessful search. Here in this example, so there will be total 7 keys. 3 for successful search and 4 for unsuccessful search. And probability of all the successful and unsuccessful search keys is same. That is 1 by 7. And now we have to find out the cost of all the all possible BSTs and we have to find out the OBST from that BSTs. For this, for these three keys, there will be five possible BSTs. So these are the five possible BSTs for the example just we have seen and now 
for each of these three we have to find out the cost of a BST by using the formula. So consider a tree A first and try to find out the cost for this tree A. So this is the formula that we have seen part A, part B, part A is for successful search, part B is for unsuccessful search, P of R is the probability for a key for a successful search, Q of I probability for a key for a unsuccessful search. In this example, P of I and Q of I for all the keys is 1 by 7. There are 3 keys. So, I is from 1 to 3 for part 1 or part A. And for unsuccessful search, the I will vary from 0 to 3. So, if we put the values in part A and part B, P of I into level of Ki. So, P of I probability is 1 by 7. It is common for all the three keys and the number of comparisons required are 2, 2 and 1. So, 1 by 7 into 2 plus 2 plus 1, that is 5 by 7. Similarly, for this unsuccessful search, there are 4 keys for unsuccessful search and the number of comparisons required for each key is Three minus one, two. Probability is again one by seven for all the keys. So taking out one by seven common, one by seven into two plus two plus two plus two. Number of comparisons required for each unsuccessful search. So answer is eight by seven. So total cost of a BST A is 5 by 7 plus 8 by 7 that is 13 by 7. So the cost of this first BST is 13 by 7. Similarly, we have to find out the cost for BST B. This is the BST B. Again, if we apply the same formula, part A for successful search, 1 by 7 into number of comparisons required to search key while 1, number of plus number of comparisons required to search key while if is 2 and number of comparisons required to search Key do is 3. So 1 by 7 into 1 plus 2 plus 3. Answer is 6 by 7 for successful search. Similarly, number of comparisons required to find out the unsuccessful search. To find out this unsuccessful search, number of comparisons required 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 into 1 by 7 that is 9 by 7 and the cost of BST B is 6 by 7 plus 9 by 7 that is 15 by 7 so likewise we have to find out the cost for all these 
three remaining BSTs also BST C, BST D, and BST E. If we apply the same formula, then we'll get the cost of all these trees. So the cost of BST C, D, E is also 15 by 7 if we have uh, applied the same formula. Now, once we have calculated the cost of all these possible 5 BSTs, then we have to find out the BST which have the minimum cost. Among these 5 BSTs, BST A is the only BST which have the cost 13 by 7. Remaining 4 BST have the cost 15 by 7. It means BST A is the BST which is having a minimum cost and that is why BST A is optimal binary search tree for the given problem. But this is the general algorithm to find out the OBST. As there are only three search keys present in example 2, so there are only five possible BSTs for this example we can able to solve the example but as the number of n that is the number of keys increases then the number of possible BSTs also increases and then it is really unrealistic to find out the cost of each BST by using this formula and then to find out OBST from all these cost. This is the general algorithm to find out the OBST. But this is the unrealistic way to find out the OBST. So the solution is to use dynamic programming approach to find out the OBST. Today we have seen, in today's video we have seen two types of BST. First is static BST, dynamic BST. The example of static BST is OBST. The example of dynamic BST is AVL. Then we have derived the general algorithm or general formula to find out the OBST from BST but as it is unrealistic way we have to find out another way or we prefer the dynamic programming approach to find out the cost of a OBST. So in next video we will see the dynamic programming approach to find out the OBST. For this lecture you just have to remember what is OBST. OBST is the tree having minimum cost. Thank you.